I can't get it to, uh, its full body in there because I don't have the zoom. Check test one two. Johnny Pink, like that, makes me feel like Crocodile Dundee or Dun Don't because it was such a long time ago. There's a coot right there. I'm back out here. This is Sepal, but I was doing my very, very best to try and compare these two lenses again. I have the Canon 600 f4 with a 1 4 extender on it, gives me 840 millimeters at an f5.6 at the lowest, and then this is Canon's 200 to 800. For the most part, I haven't really found any place to stand and just switch lenses because it is quite an ordeal. But here, I did, so I was able to kneel down, check these shots out, let me show you, I'll compare the two. And I haven't even started editing yesterday's stuff, so I've got another one of these. I do like the zoom on the 200-800, I really do. Check these out. Leave me comments down below as to what you guys think of the quality between the two, check it out. And hey, you know, as with, with any wildlife shoot time, anything that you do, <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's, it's always a crapshoot. You just never know what's going to be out there, what you're going to see, if you're going to see anything. I've seen a couple of hummingbirds today, but they were kind of tucked into where I could not get over to them, except for one that was up in the tree, this one right here. Switching is, it's much easier to bring two cameras with two separate lenses to make it much easier. And you know, one, one other thing I do want to say is don't ever underestimate a zoom. You can fill your frame, like this is only 24 megapixels and I think I've said it in another video. What makes this such an awesome camera? Well, all the features and everything are just right there at your fingertips, so you can change anything right there. You don't have to set. It's awesome. It's only 24 megapixels. Do I think that's enough for wildlife? Realistically, my personal opinion, no. But what makes this such an awesome, awesome camera is 
the dual processors. You just can't beat it. So that gives it the advantage over the R5. I do like the sensor, the larger sensor on the R5 a little bit better. So here's hoping that the R1 has a larger sensor or that the R5 II has dual processors. And if not, well, hey man, I have this awesome camera and I've had fun using all these different cameras all this time. It's always been awesome. Let me show you some more stuff. Funny thing is, the people that are walking by behind me are looking at me kind of strange. So Johnny Pink, thank you so much for letting me share with you guys. I do appreciate it. This one, I'm really trying to keep this one short, unlike my other ones where I say I'm gonna keep it short and I don't. I'm having fun. I'm gonna shoot some more on my way back to the car, which is about, uh, I don't know, a mile back there, maybe. I had to park far away because they're filming up on the other side. Real stuff with real trailers and everything, man. It's kind of cool. Johnny Pink, thank you again so, so much. I do appreciate it. Please give it a thumbs up or even a thumbs down if you think it was stupid and terrible. That's okay too. It doesn't hurt my feelings. I'm just happy to be out. And I appreciate the fact that you guys do let me share my stuff with you. It's awesome. Um, I have a Z8 coming, by the way. Unless, and it'll be a rental, unless something falls apart. I've had that on order for about a month now and nobody's returning them till after the eclipse. And I'm not driving out there for the eclipse. Johnny Pink, I'll see you guys. Have a fantastic day, whatever it is you're gonna do. And again, please leave it a thumbs up. I'll see ya.